paramedic program at Capital has been in existence since 1985. In that time, we've turned out over 950 healthcare providers, pre-hospital emergency healthcare providers. We have providers working in virtually every paramedic service in the state, in 17 other states, in three foreign countries. And of course, nowadays with the healthcare crisis and, and the pandemic, healthcare providers are in very short supply and we're still turning them out as, as normal, as best we can. My name is Kayla. I work in Manchester, but I'm from Hebron. Heard from a lot of people that I work with that it's a great program overall. Um, they've had a lot of good experiences with it, so that's why I chose Capital. We are the only paramedic program in the state college system. All of them. The, the 12 community colleges, the four four-year schools, we're it. Um, second, we are the best respected program in the state. We were the first nationally accredited program in the state. We were second in all of New England. We have, as I said, better than 35 years of experience turning out paramedics. Clinical time allows us to actually get hands-on experience with the patients so that we're more uh, ready to go on the road ourselves. Our instructors are absolutely amazing. Capital is a great program. They have a lot of experience to share with us and they really make it realistic so that we're ready to go on the road. All of our instructors, whether they be classroom or in the lab, are current healthcare providers, including myself. Um, we are all either bachelor's trained or master's level trained educators. Um, we are licensed by the state as educators. Um, we have an almost 100% pass rate on both the practical and written exam for the national licensure. Um, we're, and the final thing is it gives the students a lot of options. Um, being a state institution, the military gets the military benefit. In the second place, they have a choice of either the certificate or the, the associate's degree program. So the certificate is just the paramedic stuff. Um, it's, it's four semesters of paramedic training, including clinicals and internship, plus two semesters of anatomy and physiology. The associate's degree gives you three options. There's either classes in education, classes in emergency management, or classes in business management to prepare you to be a supervisor. We have a number of graduates who are chiefs of service here in the state or are um, chief paramedics or are the educators for services um, because of the background in critical thinking that we provide. We have approximately a third of the paramedics at Manchester Fire, a third of the paramedics at East Hartford Fire, a third of the paramedics at West Hartford Fire, um, and, and a fair number in every other paramedic service in the state. The program consists of five semesters, including general education. After you complete general education or consistently with along with the courses, you do medical assisting courses, which are only specific for medical assisting and where you do lab component, administrative medical assisting, and clinical medical assisting. Um, my mother has always been involved in like the healthcare field, so I just wanted to follow in her footsteps. I really search online and I had a few reviews from outside communities like I found and they referred Capital as a great school so I chose Capital and it has been great. While you're in the program you learn these different skills so that after your five semesters you're able to go into a clinical externship where you're in the field working as a medical assistant using the skills that you've learned in class and on campus. I'm interested in medical assistant because I want to further my education but before then I want to get hands on the patient experience, so I took medical assistant to get me started ahead before I get into maybe a pre-med or medical school. I feel like it's an easy pace. It's not like, I don't feel like I'm rushed through any of the curriculum. It feels like it's, you know, it's slow paced and it's able, like I'm a hands-on learner as well. So the fact that we actually have the competencies and we can come here and learn hands-on, that helps me because reading through a book, I, I could barely retain information sometimes. So being able to come here and like practice it is just, it, it makes a difference you get hands-on experience. And then sometimes you're usually hired by the clinical site that you have done your externship in. Well, as a professor, I have been a student for many years. I firmly believe that I like to teach the way I was taught because there are professors that can 
can lecture and drone in front of a classroom or there are teachers who can actually make sure that you understand the material in a way that you understand it. So that's how I believe our courses are taught, that's how I teach and that's how our instructors, our adjunct instructors also teach. With all the resources I have, the library, the academic success center there, we, I go there for tutoring and they help me a lot and my professor, if I have any questions, I email her or go to her office hours and it helps me a lot. Once you're in my program, I tell my students that you're mine and I kind of make sure that you learn everything start to finish, whether, it, whether it's course material, whether it's what am I taking next semester. I make sure you don't fall off the wagon where if you're not doing well in a class, I ask you, what's going on? If you are doing well in the class, I'm going to applaud you. If you're wondering what class do I take next semester, I literally will talk to each student every semester. So I feel that if a student knows that there is someone who is with them along every step, they also take those steps to move forward. I don't really interact with many people if they're not in my classes, but the environment has always been positive, like whether I'm in the CAF or in the library. The professors are great, they have time for each student and whatever questions you have any moment, any time, you can reach out to them and they can help you. First and foremost, like I said, the professors, they actually like show interest in their students. It's not really just like, you know, here are the here's a curriculum, learn on your own. If you have issues, they're like so it's so great just to have professors that actually care about their students. Well I think of Capital as home. Uh, because of the students and also because of the program. It's, it's a lot different to work with students for a two-year program than it is for a semester and then you don't see them anymore. And the relationships that you build and so the students that you interviewed earlier I consider friends as much as I do students. My name is Paul Michael Zacco and I'm from Wethersfield, Connecticut which is literally like 15 minutes from Capitol so it's a really convenient place for me to be. So we have students, hundreds really, of students who've graduated over the course of the last 29 years that I've been here. And they work as assistant vice presidents of major hospitals, and they work as techs in supervisory and managerial roles and director roles uh, of hospitals and private offices and walk-in centers. And so uh, it's good for me in that I see them when I need radiology services, but it's also bad because I never get privacy. <laughs> I really like the fact that there's one professor and one director for everything, so you know his teaching style, and the classes are small too, so you make like friends easily. I know there are other places that have bigger class sizes and more of kind of like a process to be accepted in the program, but I kind of like it here because, you know, I know some other schools have interviews, but here you just take a test and like no one knows anything about you, so there's no like pre-judgmental stereotypes almost I guess you could say and it's you know very diverse people come from every job field and want to change careers so you get to know many people. I consider this home and uh, it, it's it's my program it's my baby and I'm responsible for overseeing not only the teaching I teach all of the courses in the radiology program but I oversee make sure that we are uh, uh, compliant with accreditation we've always uh, receive full accreditation compliance with the JRC and I oversee the clinical and I have clinical instructors that do the day-to-day. -day. It's like a two and a half, two, two and a half hour classes and it's three, two to three days a week depending on what year you're in and the like he goes so in-depth, great teaching and you really do learn a lot because he does a lot of examples and hands-on and we have the lab here so our clinical instructors will come in and just teach, teach us everything so and we, again, we get to know them really well, so we know their teaching style and how they roll type of thing. Especially in this year of COVID, as you know, uh, our students were not allowed to go to the hospitals for about five or six months. And so we had to adapt in, in different ways with that. And then we went online, of course, and, and the students had to change directions on several occasions. And now, for the most part, we're teaching online as well. Because one way that we at Capital have adapted with the radiology program, uh, about two years ago, we applied for two different grants and we got about $90,000 in grants and we were uh, able to uh, purchase this new equipment. This is uh, all digital equipment that we were able to purchase. And so this is our new lab 
in the radiology department. Uh, this equipment actually uh, is the envy of a lot of hospitals that we can uh, have students come into the labs, work with the machines, work with what we would call the buckies where we position the patients. And then we have two computers over here that were uh, as part of the grant as well that allow us to take simulated x-rays and they allow us to have uh, what we would call PACs or picture archiving uh, computers that they would use in the hospitals where you set up patient records and you can use those accounts to put their x-rays in there. I teach the classes here at the college or online right now, but a lot of their education uh, is provided in clinical. So they're in the hospitals, depending where they are in the first year or second year or in the summer, they're in the hospitals at least two or three days a week all day. And so really I would have to give all the credit to our hospital partners, primarily St. Francis Hospital, uh, Rockville Hospital, and Manchester Hospital. Uh, and then we also have an affiliation with Jefferson Radiology as well. An x-ray degree, there's so many modalities you can do. You can do ultrasound, CT, MRI, um, interventional radiology, and just so many other things. So that's a really good thing about x-ray because you can expand to so many others. Currently are one of six nursing programs in the Connecticut Community College Nursing Program Consortium. We are the largest nursing program of the six sister schools. We enroll approximately 165 new freshman nursing students every year, and we average about 300 students total for the two-year program. I am a nursing student at Capital Community College. I am a single mom of a 17-year-old uh, son. It is a two-year program, four semesters, and it comprised of theoretical components as well as clinical components. We utilize clinical sites throughout the greater Hartford area from Wallingford, Connecticut to Tallinn, Connecticut. We have uh, an outstanding reputation with our community partners and our nursing program and our graduates are highly regarded. Growing up, I've always watched shows, you know, ER, life, trauma in the ER, and I work at the hospital. I've been there for 14 years, and my passion has always been to work with patients and um, help them and go through their journey, you know, as far as being sick and getting better. Our program is also affiliated with all major colleges and universities in the state of Connecticut that offer an RN to BSN program, as well as our newly launched affiliation agreement with Charter Oak Community College. We also have state-of-the-art nursing lab here at the college, which uh, encompasses high technology fidelity simulation with multiple mannequins that simulate actual clinical experiences that student would get in the clinical setting. I chose to become a nurse because it's always been a passion of mine and just making sure that they come out of whatever situation they're in. We have 16 full-time faculty here in the, in the nursing program as well as approximately 30 uh, part-time clinical faculty that do the clinical experiences for students. All freshman students are required to do uh, the first seven weeks on campus in our nursing labs uh, in small groups and they basically learn all the fundamental skills that are required to be able to go out to the clinical site and administer patient care. We have a ratio of about 10 to, to 15 students per instructor, and the students will spend two days a week here on campus in our labs doing actual work with mannequins as well as our simulated equipment. I chose Capital because it was more centered for me. I heard a lot of good things from uh, former students and also uh, teachers that were here before who worked at the hospital. On behalf of Capital Community College's nursing program, we appreciate your support for our students and their success. I think this should give to the foundation because it's just going to better it for our future. It's going to help us go through you know, the program and it's going to help with whatever other steps that we need to go along the way.